Hey everybody, Caleb Wampler here, coming to you on the second night here in Tanzania. Wow, that's all I can say, <laughs> hallelujah. We had an incredible pastor's conference this morning. The power of God showed up and there was a real spirit of intimacy and then prophecy and redemption that came upon the pastors. It was outstanding as many people were touched. We went into the evening crusade tonight with very little rest in between. And I will tell you what, it was literally fire. And I say fire, literally. We literally bit, lit the barrel on fire with a burn barrel as people threw in their amulets and charms and fetishes and addictions. They were throwing them in to say goodbye to their past. We lit it on fire as the people celebrated and we danced. We sang, God moved powerfully, but we, I preached some crystal clear gospel message. And as I did, the people, uh, I talked about the adulterous woman and how God, Jesus did not condemn the woman. He said, go and sin no more. And as I did, people could see the revelation coming on. Some of them did not want to admit that they were sinners. And so I went out into the crowd and I looked them in the eye right where they were. And I said, are you a sinner? Are you a sinner? Have you lied? Have you cheated? Have you stolen? And you can just see as people realize, it, they begin to admit that we are sinners. And so I, I, that we were able to cross that bridge. They turned their lives to Christ. We prayed for healing. And I very felt specifically to pray for those with tumors and those with deaf ears. We did not do a mass wave of healing tonight, but for tumors and for deaf ears. And everybody that we were praying for with tumors, we had a massive amount of people with tumors completely vanish right in front of our eyes in Jesus' name. In addition to that, we had people with deaf ears that were popping open one by one by one as we laid hands on them and they received healing. We even had people come from last night to give testimonies of healing as well. God is so good, friends. And tonight we were also able to bless the people here with uh, books in their language in Swahili. This is the first time that we've ever taken the hunger book into Swahili. And so we were able to bless each and every person that gave their lives to Christ and across the whole crusade tonight. What a powerful, powerful day in Tanzania. We still do not have our suitcases. We still do not have our stuff. We don't know any sign of when they're going to be received because the airlines don't know where they are. So I'm on my last pair of socks right now. Please pray for us in Jesus' name. We're gonna make it. Jesus is good. I love you guys from Tanzania. More to come real soon.